We are in for a treat oh. because this lady teaches everybody how to cook deliciousness. It is Chef Paulette. You can always be part of her Italian cooking party as you. Oh, whoa. Did we get cookie dough? <laughs> is this cookie dough? Do we get yes, to it eat is. The Should we dough? eat it now? Well, you can eat it, but you can also make cookies. Okay, I'll okay. make a cookie. It's a okay. very good I'll dough, though, if you want to taste it. Wait, are you, are you in the camp of eating raw cookie dough? All yes. the no. time. Yes. Me too. Yes, 100%. Me too. They say because you shouldn't because there's raw eggs in it, but what the real problem supposedly is, is the raw flour. Oh, That's really? what I've heard. I don't know. Isn't it good? It's really good. It has okay, a lot see. of vanilla in it. Oh. And of course butter. And of course. All those wonderful yeah, things. Yeah, all, all the wonderful all things. things. Okay, so we are making a sesame cookie. Yes. I'm excited. Yes, this is called Biscotti Regina. Okay. And it's, Regina means the queen, so this is like the cookies of the queen. Um, oh. It's a Sicilian cookie, and it's been in my family forever. And then when I went to Sicily a couple of years ago, I saw it all over the place in the bakeries, and I was like, wait a minute, that's my family's cookie. Yeah. But there it was. Fantastic. And so it is truly from Sicily. I love so it. So what okay. you do is you take your dough yeah. and you're going to roll it into a little kind of loaf. To me they look like little mini a little loaf. Italian yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, bread, bread, right? And so once you do that then you put it in the milk. Oh, oh. is that just regular milk? That's just that regular milk. No, nope, just by okay. itself. And then what happens is the milk is a little bit of a wet coating mm -hmm. and you take it out and you put it in the sesame seeds. Oh, now are these toasted already? No, they, okay. this is unholed. You can buy okay. sesame seeds that have the hole taken off and they look very white, but when you leave the hole on it, it stays brown and it's very nice. But let me show you the trick. That's oh, why yeah, we have it exactly. on. Exactly. That's why we have it on, okay. uh, on oh, wax paper. I see what's happening. Because you pick this up and you could put, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you ten don't even of get them your on hands there. Dirty. And look you, look you just coat them like that. Brilliant. See? Then you, you don't have sesame all up in your nails like I do. Yes, oh, yeah. Well, you do. You'll have it all over the counter and everywhere else. I now, love this that. cookie is not a super sweet cookie, okay. so it goes really nice with coffee. <gasps> so you brought let's in. move down here. All of yes. this. Okay, so this is These, a proper coffee. This is um, a, a home uh, stovetop espresso pot. So almost every household in Italy has one of these. Okay. Okay. I learned it when I went to school in Rome back many years ago when I was an undergrad in, yeah. in college. And so I just want to show you how to make it. Okay. So there's a little steam hole here that mm -hmm. really nothing happens with it, but it's there just in case, okay? Because okay. there's a lot of pressure when this cooks. Now I took this here. You can do it right from the faucet, but cold water. Got it. Up to that little steam hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you put your filter in. And then you put your coffee in your filter. Okay. And use kind of espresso coffee. coffee. Use okay. Italian roast coffee, not French roast because that's not roasted as much as Italian is. You want the real and you're roasted filling as it all far the way as up. you can. I was yeah. say, but what's the measurement? Yeah. You just fill it up. Yeah. Okay, fill right. it <laughs> up. No, I should have known. Fill it up. This is Italian cooking. You yes. know? <laughs> no measurements. Okay. I like that. So I, I even make it like a little mound. I don't tamp it down, but I screw this part on. I want to show you. In here is a rubber washer. Okay. So when you screw this on, mm -hmm. you have to screw it tight, and that washer makes a really good seal. Oh, so really screw it tight. Okay, okay. Put it on the heat. Right. The water expresses up through the coffee and then fills the top with coffee. It kind of comes out of here almost like a percolator. I didn't realize that's how that works. And it, just put it on any heat, electric, gas, that. and it happens in five minutes. So oh, this is another this. pot of the same type, Ooh, just a different shape. That looks mm. yummy. These are all the same. I have a collection. I have many more I at home. I like all your little Now, there Those are, are so some, cute. like, uh, in terms of a price point, do you yes. need to buy an expensive version of this? Or I would say check? make sure it's made in Italy because there are some made in other countries that are um, a, a lighter metal and it doesn't make a great seal. Okay. So an Italian one, but you can go for $25. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this yeah. is the about most, 25 bucks. This is the most precious little set. I know. This I got in uh, the this Peggy Guggenheim Museum in Venice. Um, Nine, this by 20. Now, if you take milk, and I take milk I in mine, um, this is also a classic Italian piece of pottery. It's a rooster. The milk comes out of the Aww. mouth. Do you take milk? Yes, please. And um, it's because hey, it's from a certain town in Italy, which I'm not remembering which one. So cute. But the rooster woke up the town when the invaders were coming, so they all knew they, it, love they the were rooster. coming. So they love the rooster. Oh gosh, okay, so, so we've got the coffee. How long do these bake? About half an hour. Half an hour, and then we yeah. take them out and we have a little bit. Oh Look at gosh, this. This feels so this proper. This recipe on todayinnashville.com. Check it out. Sign up for Chef Paulette's cooking classes. You will love it. ChefPaulette.net is where mm. you can find it. Thank you. And these are good dunkers also. Mm. Oh, wow. I like it.
I like it. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. I love it too. All right, get set. Thank you.